Hi guys, it's Candace. Welcome back. Okay, so we're going to um, start playing back in our little bird, little birdie garden journal. I know I've been away, but I had a serious reaction to the reaction of the reactions, and I had this rash all on my arms, and I have been crazy doctoring it. I got it there on my forehead still, a little on the back of my neck, on my right arm, my shoulders, which is not as bad, um, but they still itch horribly, and uh, I don't know, but, and I couldn't like bend my arm because I couldn't let the heat, you know, heat touch because it made it worse, and this is exactly what happened to me on the backs of my legs when I got that cat scratch fever and got attacked and had a reaction to my reaction from it. So I've tried not to bend my arm, keep it straight for days. So this could dry, which it, it actually is. I could actually go over it now. It's like under the skin. But um, I'm kind of uh, leery about doing the actually allergy test or drops now because if I had this much reaction from being you know, submitted to too much stuff, or subjected, or whatever, uh, to too much things that I'm allergic to at one time, I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle the other stuff. So, if anybody has any opinions on there who's gone through the allergy stuff, have you ever broken out like, I mean, it was really bad. Um, I just didn't want to show you because it's kind of gross, but you kind of see where, I mean, it was all, all on here, and um, it had started, it had went down there, but I didn't, it stopped. But, um, like Dawn and stuff who takes these allergy pills, have you ever broken out this bad from allergy tests, from your reactions to your reactions? So, like I said, I just, I don't know. I, I got to think, think long and hard. Let me make sure that my video thing's still doing, because it shut off just a minute ago. So I have to get John to check my phone to see if it's managed to tell itself to record or back up into its own brain again instead of when we upload it. I, I don't, I don't understand. So we're just going to do a quick little flip through because I'm not sure where I left off. Because, you know, when you're when you back away from something for for a couple of days, you do forget where you're at. So, and then you kind of lose your mojo, and I hate that. So I got to try to get back into it to get this finished. I know it's supposed to be semi naked but oh, I have all these things cut out. <laughs> so I did um, glue some um, coffee dye paper onto here. And then this is some scrap of the, the manila paper that we put in, in the journals. And so I just thought it would be cute to make a little belly band tuck for it. So that's what that is. And just put one of the large journal cards in there. And then we did this. I did this little seed tag. Yes, I had to put a couple of um, sequins on here. I know I was trying not to, but it's too late. I started and, well, that's how you go. And then... I did this little tag that goes in here. I put a little sequin on the butterfly's head and a large sequin down there and a couple little pieces of ephemera from the kit. This is what we're going to try to work on in a minute to finish that part. Our lovely overlay, overlay, overlay. I know. <laughs> oh, and I mean, I, I'm trying really hard to refrain. But, boy, I, I wanted to get into here. Oh, man, my leg's itching. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I sure hate to think i got to call that ENT and go back there and tell them what is wrong with me. This just isn't working because I'm an itching fool. Oh, and then I just put a little number eight and a little berry word. And like I said, there's lots of stuff for you to put, you know, to tuck and do. Stop, drop, roll. Oh, that's from when your smoke were on fire, right? Okay. And then this little, I, I just thought this pink brought out, you know, on here, because that, you know, was kind of a little bright pink, but it toned it down. And then I did these little um, journal tags, which were some offcuts of the um, freebies, the um, Facebook Friday number four freebies. And so I just did that, added a few little extra oomphs to them, put the little bird. I thought he was cute. So, I think I like it this way better. I know it's a tag. What can I say? <laughs> oh, and then, oh my gosh, yesterday was our, the best day. I don't even know what today is. Today's Tuesday, I think. Um, yeah, 
um, yesterday, Monday, was like the best day we had. It got down to 58. It was awesome. What happened? The people three, you know, properties down cut their hay field. And, I, and so here I am, <clears throat> all stuffy-muffy again. And I think that's why I'm itching a little bit more. And it's not psychosomatic because, let me tell you, this, this arm of mine, oh, I don't know. Let me see if I can get you to see. Can you see how bad? I don't know if you can see. And that's after I put my allergic reaction cream on it. <sighs> it's driving me crazy. Okay, so enough of that. So I did this um, pocket that was in the kit and then just put a little um, select vegetables because, you know, it pulled the, it with the pink. And then I just put a little Bountiful, some of the um, antique fabric I had found, and then just kind of two papers collaged on the back just to give a little extra oomph to it. And then I just took and put some scrap and piece of the flower from this is the Mega Flower Kit 2 from the Junk Journal Studio. Man, there's so many flowers in there. Oh my gosh. And then just one of the little labels. And then we did these, and we did those. You chicky chicky. I know you got to have some chickens in your garden. Oh. And then this is the big one that we did. I know you've already seen these, but I'm just doing a where we're at <clears throat> on here. Oh, this is the one. Oh my gosh. I'm like, why is I have? Why do? Why is I have? Why do I have other paper on here? Because that's when I took this one and stuck it down on that piece of paper. Oh, and had to cover it up. And then after I put all this on here, I really didn't even, I truly didn't even need to freak out about it, even though I did, because it, this pocket covers the whole darn mistake almost. But anyway, I just couldn't believe I did that. Oh my gosh, what a dummy. <clears throat> and I just put some washies on here. I know it just needed a little something. I put a label in here. Oh, and then usually, I don't know if I ever sh told y'all, I always take my little lighter and singe the bottoms of the um, the wax linen. That way, if you're you know threading beads or charms or anything on there, it doesn't do that fraying, so you fight with it. So that's what I do with my little things. And then just did two simple ta with these um, medium tags that were in the kit, and I just thought those went cute in here. I know, and like I said, I'm telling you, it's hard to refrain from decorating. <laughs> uh, I left, you know, I left a lot of blank things for you, and then I did these. Um, you know, we did our little double belly band tuck with the little gingham ribbon, and I got that at um, Dollar Tree, in case anybody's curious. And I think I've seen it at um, Hobby Lobby also, but I used um, this mushroom journal card, tucked it in there. And then this one here, I, I just cut it all, you know, down real faint because it had this trim on there. And then put some Nouveau drops on there and a label just to go inside there. And then I did this. I know, I did it without you. So, sorry. It is a oatmeal sack. I know, I had some. So, and yes, they were wa they've been washed on the inside. And I just put some painter's paper back there took this little label, put it on as a pocket, some little summer's bounty, added a couple labels and a ticket. So it goes in there. And then these were, um, this was another piece of the off cut. I just used a couple of labels and the butterfly from the kit, put it in there. And it is a double. There's a pocket behind there and a pocket in front. <clears throat> so that's going in behind. And then this is just a little, um, tag that's in the kit <laughs> and it's backed with um on with some um other digital paper I had <clears throat> and then um like I said this is still naked still empty for you to to do your your pretties with and then you know I had to put the squash in there because you know it's kind of vegetable greeny garden um journal and then you know, we did th we did this together. So there are little tuckies in there, our little ephemeras. And I put the fabric snippet on this page. 
and I know I still like how that turned out that's pretty I mean we only use three things and look how pretty it is on a piece of paper but that's the um, junk journal studio mega flowers set two. and let me tell you there's some mega flowers in there oh I know I'm leaving this because you know for for whoever to decorate but this is you know just a kind of thought you'd want to use a bigger piece of paper and then glue it on here so you could have a flip like that but that doesn't go in there so but that's what was sitting on the side and then these <clears throat> I was thinking the same thing here put a little something to cover this little tab like this you can glue the, um, a piece of a little note card like this on there put a little thing in there so it could be a pocket so you have journal spots and all that good stuff I was gonna say this doesn't go but this kind of goes I was trying not to put too much in here though so that's why I didn't put it on there oh. and then I just did this little one put some labels and um, tags labels those aren't tags labels this is a tag from the kit <laughs> oh and then left this one so you can do whatever you want and then the back you know has this big pocket from the kit and then just these two little simple journal cards that were in the kit we put in there and then excuse me while I itch and then put this little mushroom on here so that's the little garden journal I guess that's what we're gonna call it a little garden journal okay so I know where'd he go right there all right so oh I was holding this is my holding clothes thing so I know what I want to do first this is from the um, Facebook freebies set four so I just cut down this little part because I know that's gonna look cute in my window because you know now I'm seeing how much is that doggy in the window <clears throat> And then I got a file folder, and I need to move this out of my way. So, you know, I don't have the cough. Well, let me tell you, I stopped taking my high blood pressure pill. Don't have a stupid cough. So, I figured I'd let myself get over all this junk, and then I would start it again. I'm not dead yet, so what can I say? I hate that thing. I hate that constant cough. Drives me insane. And even John said it drives him insane. I'm like, well, welcome to the club. So I'm just going to, I guess I'm going to cut this down here. I know my big, my big um, guillotine is covered with junk journal stuff. So, or I would have just sliced this, <laughs> sliced it down there. Oh, but you know what? That's why they made craft knives. That's so why they made a craft knife and a ruler. So you can just cut cut to your little heart's content. To your little desires. So, I know, I'm telling you. Oh, let's, where'd he go? There and there. So let's cut this down here. I'm telling you, I feel like a dog with fleas. Oh. And then you can't rest around this house because your dogs bother you all the time. You know, they sit outside the bedroom because you put the gate up so they can't mess with you. And they're like, why, my, 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 why are you in there? Come out with us. Why, 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 why? That's exactly what they said. <laughs> oh, but boy, let them take a nap. Oh, no, no, no. Nobody bothers them. You know, unless it's lightning and thundering, and that's just, you know, a handful of them. But, yeah. Typical kids. Oh, my gosh. I mean, this is feeling light. I might be almost done with this one. You know, my glue tack to help it, you know, stay tacked while my glue's drying. Because, you know, this is temporary, temporary glue this Elmer's washable safe school glue stick which I'm sorry you know if your kid makes you something from school you want it to last forever <laughs> I know y'all heard me whine about that before 
but Elmer's makes some glue stick that stays. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of like the Yoohoo stick. I mean, I only get a couple months out of it, maybe, maybe six months, but stuff that I've made, I mean, it just, it, they don't stick here. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm guessing it's the humidity, but, um, that's why I don't use it. I know a lot of people say, why don't you use that? And I'm like, I, I just doesn't work for me. I'll, you know, take the extra time and complain about having to use wet glue, but I mean, I just have not had good luck with it. And I, you know, I cannot stand when I get something that I've made and go through it. And, and next thing you know, you know, you put out a journal card and, and this is hanging off like that because your the, the glue stick isn't glued anymore. And that's with both of them. So I just do what works for me. <clears throat> And y'all do what works for you. And that's that's how crafting works. <laughs> when you see what other people do, you try it. And if it works for you, yay. If it doesn't, well, you have to, you know, keep going until you find something that works for, for you and your area. Because I'm telling you, glues are finicky. Finicky, finicky, finicky. In humid areas. And it might be the humidity and the low altitude, too, you know. <laughs> but, all right, so we have that. And I am going to round the corners. I think I'm just going to do the little quarter-inch ones. Ouch. But no, literally, I have laid in the bed or on the couch with my arm jacked out, you know, going to get water like this, trying to cook with my arm stuck, which my elbow actually hurts because I have kept my arm out so long. And boy, you try sleeping when, you know, with keeping your arm straight, <laughs> you can't. And uh, I'd wake up, oh, you know, one, because it would itch so bad, then I'd wake up. And uh, I was like, oh, my God, my arm's bent. <laughs> oh. So, yeah. You know, we why? I know I complain about sinuses, but why must we have allergies? <laughs> They're worse than sinuses. And then I have this, this little, oops, hello. This little, this journal belongs to. I thought that would be cute on here to go in our little... Oh dear Lord! I'm like, I lost my journal. It's just everything has the junk journal studio. I mean, the summer's bounty literally all around me, because, you know, I don't have. I only have this one table. I don't have another table to like set stuff behind me and then go back to get it. And so I set it around me, and then I I, I can't tell what I'm doing because it all looks the same. <laughs> I know, such a dilemma. Oh, and then this is going to go in there like that. And I was thinking of putting this on here. But I don't know yet. But, but I do. I wanted to see where my. This belongs to. Um, and I had printed this on some sticky labels. For something I needed. And I misprinted it actually. So I have three labels so I'm like well might as well use them <laughs> so yeah anyway and let's just put this one on here so that'll be a little hidden <clears throat> this journal belongs to so you won't see it until you pull it out and you'd be like me it belongs to me Sounds like, you know, oh, what was that? Oh, 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 um, Legally Blonde. And there's one spot left for me. Just me. Okay. Anyway, I know I get a little carried away. So then I'm going to use this on here. 
And um, I guess I'm back it on a little bit of book page. Whew. See? It's starting to get hot and sticky, and I feel it. But at least the fever's out of it. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it had, it had such fever in it, and it itched to high heaven and back. I hate. And anyway. Okay, let's talk about something good. Still a nice day today. I have the windows and everything closed because, you know, the big old hay field was cut. <laughs> I hope this is their last stinking cut of the season. Oh, my God. <sighs> Tootsie's hurt again. I don't know what I'm going to do with that horse. She's down there in the pasture. And, of course, we don't have any hay. So, when I'm done with this, as a matter of fact, I have to go down there and put some sweet feet in there. Um... So i got to call our neighbors that have some hay and see if their son will bring another bale up there. Because she's going to have to stay there. They're going to have to be in horse, a horsey prison again. And I just don't know what to do for her. She just, I don't know. I don't think, I don't think she can handle our, our rocky hill. And I thought about it last night. And I was like, oh, you know, I can call my girlfriend. And she's, you know, she thinks she can find a place for them. But then I'm like, man... And then I thought, well, that's just selfless of me. And I'm like, yeah, it is. And um, so, I don't know. But I hate that she gets hurt all the time. And then, you know, if whoever they were thinking of putting her with, she continues to get hurt, will they put her down? Because, I mean, that's what they say that, you know, you need to do. Um, just because it does take a little bit of time. But we just lock her in this stinking pasture down there, which I hate. And like I said, poor Minnie doesn't understand. Well, what did I do? <laughs> I'm fine. Even though she's the old lady, she's more healthy than stinking Tootsie is. Oh, but, yep, so John locked him up yesterday because <clears throat> he called me from down there. He's like, have you seen Tootsie hobbling around? I'm like, no. And uh, he's like, yep. He says, she can't walk hardly. And I'm like, well, lock her up. He's like, I already did. So that's what happened. She's, whew. See my clothes itch this stuff and, and I'm wondering if maybe I don't know I don't know so anyway oh that wasn't even a happy thing that was a sad thing so let's see what do we have I, mean, I just didn't want to leave it all brown and I was thinking of decorating here but I really like this brown <laughs> I know it's hard to cover up stuff sometimes when it's just um who do I have I've got this and then I can't put this on something so but then is this just going to be too much? Woo, yeah, that's too much red on red on red. I heard you. I know. Sorry if I made y'all go blind. Um, let me see. Um, no, I haven't really used this. But I don't know. Whew, I know I'm warm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to tear some and see what we get. Whoops, I'm not going to get very straight tear, am I? <laughs> oh, well, it's journaling, huh? It's not supposed to be perfect, Candace. It's supposed to have personality. i got to think of another song that says that when it keeps going in my head. Every time I say that, y'all know I sing that little stupid little song in my head. Jumped up personality. Do, 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 do. All right. <laughs> no, I haven't changed my dry rot crummy <laughs> thingy jiggy. Getting jiggy. Oh, no, don't say that. I don't support that one anymore either. Okay, so, oh, that's not so bad, not so bad. My label just blew away. Okay, so I, I think I'm okay with that. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to have to get a flea collar before it's all said and done with. Now I'm just trying to decide, do I want... And the answer is yes. I was like, do I want this to be a pocket too? And I think, yeah. 
So, just because I tore it so straight, you know? So we'll just, and this is 32 pound paper. It's, you know, thick. So I'm not going to back it because it's a thicky. And I'll get my little Etsy orders out. Oh, I hate. <laughs> my stepmom's like, you just need to leave there. <laughs> I'm like, I know, trust me, I've thought about it. I could just, like, come stay somewhere, you know, during the summer and, and weed time. You know, pack up my little caravan of my craft stuff. <laughs> and then come back here in the winter. Oh, trust me, I have really and I know it I it's sad but I don't know this year has just been really really bad I've got to find somebody I guess that can come and maintain our property like I said just, as soon as it, the weather gets a little better Ooh, sweating darn it it needs it yeah, I need to um I'm going to be out there pounding them fence post in so we can get some stinking goats and maybe they can keep some of these weeds down. Oh, and then sycamore tree. That's a big thing. You know, oh my gosh. Yeah. John's like, yeah, he says, well, the next, if we're going to move, I'm like, yeah, right. But you know, at least he thinks about it. We need to go and, and have an allergy test done for all of the, the plants and stuff that's um, known to that area. I'm like, yep. I said, you're right. We should have. <laughs> but I didn't think it was going to be so bad. I had no idea. Well, I knew I was allergic to grass, but I had no idea how bad all this hay cutting stuff really does to you. You know, and then the older you get, your immune system gets worse, too. So uh, it sucks getting old, y'all. It's just wrong. It's just wrong on so many counts. I think I want some of that to grow, uh, to grow, <laughs> to show. Oh, man. little label thing to go in there too. I thought I had something else. Well, you know, maybe I had the vegetables out here. Whoops. Taking my tag. Instead of taking your time. Taking my tag. Taking my tag. That would be cute. You can do that one too. Let's see what else is in, in my huge bucket of off. Oh, we got this little free pass that we can put in there too. All right, let's trim him. And then I think we have enough stuff in here on that one. You notice my bottom's still naked, huh? Because they call me the streak. Wee! Ethel! Oh, I know, y'all. I see y'all had a blast watching Jake. Okay, talk about something funny. Watching Jake on his, um, ra, uh, oh no, I can't say that word. Um, his, well, God, there's so many words that trigger them. Um, you know, having fun out there. But can you believe how loud he is? And, I mean, I am up on the porch and they were, I mean, our road, our driveway is pretty far from our thing. And he is so stinking loud. Oh, my gosh, that little thing. But he loves it. And what's so funny is that the first, I don't know, maybe the first year, he wanted nothing to do with it, wouldn't get in it, wouldn't ride in it. We would set him in there. He would jump right back out. And he hated it. And then all of a sudden, he just decided, well, yeah, my best friend, well, you heard loud mouth. 
but oh my gosh, he kind of sounds, you know, like somebody's trying to kill you, because he's, that boy's loud, and I'm trying to find something to back it on here, and I'm, I'm looking at my little scrappies over here, but, but yeah, I mean, he loves in, in that thing, and then, you know, like when John gets the farm truck, if he opens that door, Jake's right up in there, him and little girl, oh, and Mia too, sitting in the front seat, waiting. I know Karen was saying their their um dog, Vader, always gets in their ute, and uh, man, our other dog, Max, I mean, that was that one time, John, him and John fought. So, I'm going to go over, so we'll have to merge this thing together. So, you're getting ready to hear it go beep beep. But... I mean, every time you'd open up one, it was just my car, the black, because we had four doors, he'd always get in, he was in the back seat, and, um, where's my thing, and if, you know, if you leave that door open, well, he's in there, and he would not get out, his, his crazy, his chocolate lab crazy switch came on when it came to that car, and him and John, whoo, that, I mean, there was one, that one time, and John lost, and, um, I mean, Max went Cujo on him, showed his teeth and everything. And John, which pissed John off. So John went and got the broom, was trying to get him out the broom. Well, then I could see him through the front door, you know, through the house. And I'm like, what in the world is John doing? You know, because he's got the broom doing like this, you know, in the car. I'm like, oh, my God, what's in our car? Well, I go out there. It's our dog. And, and John's like, he's not going to win. I'm like, I'm like, dude, you just need to give it up right now because, I mean, you're not, once, I mean, you could see when Max's switch turned. I mean, his eyes just dilated and he turned into something crazy. And, um, uh, and that's just part of, they said in the, the chocolate, chocolate labs breed because of how they, you know, chocolate's not a natural, um, nature type breed. And that's how they've, you know, they've just bred them to get them, so it makes them a little cuckoo. Well, that's for sure, because that one, mm, he uh, definitely had his own little mind and did what he wanted when he wanted, and you, oh, uh-uh, you couldn't change it. And that after that one, that's when we send him off to obedient school. Oh, that poor, I felt bad for him. Those people beat him. I mean, oh. And he actually had to stay two weeks longer because they couldn't break him. And, um, I mean, he did get better. But once he turned, what was he? We had him two, three. I guess when he turned three, human three, he just, I guess his hormones and everything else, because we never got him fixed, which, you know, they're always like, you need to get him fixed. I'm like, you know, we thought we were going to breed him because he was a show dog. But, you know, he's just was a little too, he's just too crazy. And I didn't be, wanted to be responsible for carrying that bloodline down so see now i've got this and and that's up there and, and he looks there he is so but yeah but yeah i mean oh so then john got in trouble because you know i don't i don't believe in doing that kind of stuff and egging on especially an animal Are you stupid and so yeah john was so but yeah like i said john got in trouble oh he was in he was in the doghouse with me so, and then, I mean, it went on for, you know, a while before I could see. And I guess because I was just happened to walk into the laundry room and you could see out our dining room front door. Um, and that's when I saw, you know, John practicing his swordsmanship and uh, went out there and fussed at him like some, like a five-year-old. And then, so he walked away. And I mean, it wasn't even five minutes. Max was like, oh, we're not going nowhere. Okay. And just out the car, and it's, and it's, I'm serious, Max is like, didn't even remember anything that happened, was like, hey, what's going on, waggy tail, waggy tail, and you're like, and you're mad at him, because, you know, he's done something wrong, but, uh, yeah, that boy had no clue, and I'm liking this, this, this part of the tab, if you're wondering why I cut that, so I cut it like that, because this won't show as much behind here. And I like the more rounded thing. So I do do that a lot. On I do 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 that. What's love got to do, got to do with it. Um, a lot on these, these labels. So sometimes this is just too much and this tab is not enough. If that makes any sense. So. 
And let's kind of put him right here. Make sure I didn't get any glue anywhere, and I did not. But yeah, Max, you know, I, you know, Max had the the Hannibal Lecter stamp put on his his um, thing at the vet because he didn't like this one lady. But it was he was just protecting me. But yeah, you know, you're embarrassed because. They don't act like that at home sometimes. But boy, that dog, oh, if he got in trouble and you corrected him, his bed, his bed, his bedroom was in the laundry room. So you tell him, you know, go get in your room, go get in your bed. And he'd go, nom, 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 the whole way there and just sassing you, sassing you. And then, you know, you'd be right behind him telling him, don't you run your mouth, don't you talk back to me. And he's under his breath. Nom, nom, nom. And it wasn't growling, but he was, he was talking to you. And uh, so then he'd get in there. <clears throat> And like a minute later, you'd hear in the laundry room, rum, 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 again, and I'm like, I'd walk and put my head around the corner, and he'd look at me, and he'd start shaking. I'd never hit that dog, but he knew he was in trouble. <laughs> oh, but he was a tricky one, because like I said, he, you know, you didn't know where you stood with him, because he'd be, he's one of those ones that would wag his tail, and oh, hey, let's be friends, and you'd get, I mean, close to him, and he would just come unglued, and and all I can say is 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 turn Cujo. I mean, it's just so yeah. And even our our friends, I mean, he, and it's mainly when you came into our house, he was okay outside, but he he didn't like anybody in our in our house. So yeah, but that's what we picked for a Valentine's present when he was a baby. I know I might have to use some of this. But boy, you let somebody come ring our doorbell because we had like, you know, um, I don't know, this big Acadian style door. And um, and then we had windows on the sides. And I'm, I'm telling you, I wish we would have had a, a video quarter them because I'm telling you, there's some people that he gave heart attacks to because they weren't expecting that to to greet them at the, at the side, but he never, never jumped on the, the, the wood or the sheetrock or anything, but I mean, yeah, you know, like sometimes on the weekend when, you know, the church people come around, they'd ring that doorbell and, oh, he would, he would go insane. We wouldn't answer the door because, you know, we felt that bad for the people by then, but, and we were sure we're not going to let them in the house after, um, Max did that, so yeah. I don't know. What does he need? I need some more green, I think. Let's see. I got this scrap. I know, I'm wondering, will that be too much? I know that's not what I'll be using, but I can see. And I don't want to put more green there or put. Some, I don't know. Let's look. <clears throat> let's let's just rip some some new green and see. sure wish Tootsie wasn't genetically defective. That poor horse. Come on, hands. Work with me. I don't think that's so bad. I think that'd be kind of cute. I do need to tear this a little bit more. Yeah, John went off without his, his uh, pulled pork barbecue sandwiches today. I'm like, well, I guess you know what you'll be having for dinner. <laughs> So, because we're not going to waste it. I had put a pork roast in the crock pot Sunday. And so we had, you know, 
roast and let me see what else do we have darn oh he wanted rice and beets so that's what we have with our pork roast and then so then yesterday we always the second time <coughs> excuse me we always take and pull the you know pull the pork and use the sweet baby's rays honey chipotle sauce oh my gosh that is so good and so bad because it's it's that good for you you know that bad so it's got to be bad for you but oh man that's some good stuff and so we always have pulled pork sandwiches so that's what he ate for dinner last night and he's like well we got we got plenty so i'm gonna bring me some for lunch so you do that <laughs> so he spent all that time making his uh sandwiches and everything got it all in his little container and his little buns on the side and went off and left it Ugh. so well i'm not the only dummy in the house we are a household of ding-dongs. All right, and I think I'm going to put a little down here just to kind of pull up the top one. That's Lenny Kravitz that sings that song. <laughs> that jumped up personality. Ask not what you can do for your country, but what your country can do for you, or vice versa. Okay, I know. We're just nitpicking this one to death, aren't we? All right, but I did it. Dun 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 dun. dun. <sighs> my elbow pit sweating. Oh my gosh. But yeah, when I got attacked by that cat and I had got this whatever rash from the rash from the rash oh i i that one it nearly drove me insane because i mean you know you had it's the back of your knees and it gets hot and sweaty and it was all down my leg and oh that stupid cat anyway i hope i never get attacked by an animal again that was my one and my one and done for my lifetime other than that stupid chihuahua of my, my nana's, Miss uh, Miss Beebe, her little chihuahua is the only other dog that's ever bit me. He bit me on my ankle, little ankle biter. When I was little, I don't even know. I was probably, I don't know, eight, nine. <laughs> but it traumatized me. <laughs> um, well, that didn't turn out so awful bad. I I like it. I'm just wondering... I know. That's what I'm wondering. Um, bum 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 bum. I mean, we got all that brown, but then. Do, do, do. I know. Ooh. Harvest. Oh, did y'all see? I know. Here I am. My brain just does its own little thing. Where, you know how on your little <coughs> YouTube thing, I guess YouTube news or whatever, it pops up. In a show where that Jason Samoa, Aquaman, or whoever he is, shaved all his, shaved his hair. I was like, oh my God. So, yeah. I'm sure there were some women and some men who were just like, no. Oh my God, no. But, 
he looks much better older with meat with you know meat on his body than when he was younger because they showed pic I you know I had seen pictures of him when he was a teenager and yeah no he definitely needed to buff up. I don't know if I want that on there now. I know. I think I might leave it. You could put whatever you want on there. Okay. Get out of my head, song. Yo. Get out of my head. Get out of my dreams, as Billy Ocean said. <laughs> Get in the backseat, baby. <laughs> I told y'all. It just... It's non-ending. It's just the thing that goes... It's just a loopy loo. <laughs> Here we go, loopy lie. Oh, no, it's Saturday night. You did hope pokey. <laughs> Put your left foot in. Oh, hey, we, let me see. I know I'm trying. I'm I'm grasping for straws now because this is bothering me. But I don't know what I want to do to it. Give you. Give your hand a shake, 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 and that's what it's all about. You know, I kind of, I kind of like that green. Remember doing the hokey pokey on roller skates at the skating rink? Whew! Yeah. Hmm. Kind of like, kind of like in the darker one. Let me look at it. I think I am like in the Oop, sorry. I was trying to get the light off so I could see. Yeah, I think I like that one because I don't like the white in the grid. All right, let's let's just throw a little bit of this on there. We're going to call this the the goulash pocket, everything in the in the in the kitchen, we're just throwing at it. Well, it's stuck to me. There we go. <laughs> Get off of me! Oh gosh, it's stuck to the thingy now. I don't want that sharp point, but I can't cut the edge. Okay, let's get on with it, Candace. Oh, so my stepsister's son had joined the army, and, uh, yep, he's actually enjoying it. He, he did his, he made it through boot camp, which I'm surprised, I know my son wouldn't have, um, but he made it through boot camp and then went to, he's somewhere up in, up in Virginia, because his boot camp was down in, I was going to say South America, was down in South Carolina, and then he went up to... Virginia for his, I guess they're up there 12 weeks, and then his first assignment is going to be in Korea. Yeah, but it's only going to be supposed to be for one year after he gets out in December. So he actually ships out December 24th, um, Christmas Eve, to um, to go to Korea. And yeah, my stepsister so. So proud. He's done so good. I would be one of the parents that kidnap their children and take it take them to to another country. I don't know. I often thought Robert would join the military, but then I realized he's too much like me. He doesn't take orders very well. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we would tend to be in the brig, I guess they would call it, or I don't even know where we would be. We'd be somewhere doing hard time. <laughs> oh, see, I made a gel cell. <laughs> That's where we would be. My subconscious made a gel cell, y'all. That's funny. Oh my gosh. All right, let me see if I can <coughs> rectify the gel cell so it doesn't look so bad. <coughs> oh my gosh. What a That's funny. I'm sorry. I find that extremely funny. I made I made my own gel cell. 
That's because I moved to the country where I'm allergic to everything around me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oops. Upside down for one thing. Hmm. It's kind of cute. Oh. I can't believe I made a, a jail cell. Well, we got vegetables, but I think this is a big one. Too big of a word. I don't know. Should we put it like right there? And then maybe like this down here. I know my, this envelope's going to weigh five pounds before I'm done with it. Hmm. I mean, I'm kind of liking that. And then you pull it out <coughs> and you just see that. <laughs> oh, it's time to take another allergy pill. It's crazy. I don't even know how much. I hope I'm not going. I need to get. I need to get done with this because I'm gonna go over in time and I'm gonna be in trouble. And I'm really gonna be behind those bars. I'm sorry. That still is funny that I, I made stinking prison bars subconsciously. <laughs> oh my god. And see when you do. Three of everything, you got three on everything on each page. You just have entirely too much junk to go through. And see, I don't even like that little one like that. All right, let's do this one because I know I really like that on there. Okay. I don't even know if this is going to stick to the... um. acetate stuff, but we're going to slap it on there and hope for the best. And then let's just look and see what this looks like down here. Because it says, tell me something good. Uh -uh. Shaka Khan. little girls back there sawing some logs I'm you know if you if you're hearing some some vibrations going on that's just a little girl I don't know you know oh well I kind of like it over here all right we're doing it and we're finishing this this project <laughs> oh see <sighs> my my sponges, I got, I got overly. Heavy handed. They were uh, slinging my crumbs everywhere. All right. Okay. Now. We got to back away from this buffet because I have entirely too much junk on here. There's my little pin. See, I do miss my other topper because I can find it easier. <laughs> All right, so we <clears throat> decorated our window envelope and made just a simple little journal card. And we put this journal belongs to you. I know I'm still liking that harvest. It's still talking to me since I put vegetable on there. Oh, let's put it on there, huh? If you don't like it, you can cover it up when you get it. <laughs> oh. Okie dokie. Okay. So then we made this, put our little, this journal belongs to you on here, backed it on um, file folder, and then did all this hot mess to our envelope, and then have these pieces from the kit 
in here for a little ephemera parts and pieces, little journal cards and tags. And then this one. And then this big old journal card that goes inside here. So we did it. We got it done. We got this one done. All right. So I know I think I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know. I keep wanting to do something else. We got, I got to think because, you know, this is a special one. So I don't know. Anyway, where's my, where's my gag and tie them? What color are you? You're green. Woohoo! I mean, it's like five feet of green stuff. Lord, did little girl eat it? Eat it? No, that's not green. Oh shoot! What color are you? Oh, you're the blue. But I've lost my blue. I think I chopped my blue. I think I cut it. <laughs> Oops. Well, we'll just use this for now. Because <laughs> I think I chopped the blue. Uh oh. Because this, this is definitely not as long as it was. I think I used it when I made the, um, the tabs. Oops. Oh, help. Okay. Well, oh, I guess I should have left that open. Oh, so I get to get, so we could do the picture. All right. So there is our, well, there's our journal card in our envelope pocket. Double window envelope pocket pocket blah, 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 that we finished, and um, I know it took forever. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing some of your time with me. I know I gotta get back into the groove because that you know when you don't do it, you really do get out of the groove. And it's time for me to go. Who that's sweaty. It's time for me to go put some more cornstarch powder on me and then put some more um um antihistamine lotion stuff. Some of this other nonsense. Um, so I can get that out of my little system and um, a wash and a load of the dog's towels. So I will see you on the next video. Thanks for all your love. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for putting up with me. I know I'm a handful. And, uh, but you know, I'm, I'm just chatter mouth, chatter mouth, chatter mouth. So anyway, thanks for putting up with me. So I will see you on the next video. Lots of kisses, lots of love. You'll have a great day and a blessed day. Bye guys.